Hello everyone, it is Suzanne Hart here and this week's habit is contribution. This is your opportunity to freely give without expecting anything in return. It is to sit in, a, in total gratitude and to give from a place of absolute and total abundance. Now when I first looked at this habit, I was like, wow, I don't think I'm in a position to give. That was because when I first looked at it, my finances were tight. But this was the interesting thing I heard a speaker say. He said that the act of contribution is a habit. And it's not how much you give, it is the habit of giving and the belief in the expectation that more will come. It is that law of reciprocity and it is the thought of keeping something in flow. So for me, when I heard this, I decided to contribute money, although things were very tight. But I looked at what I was earning and I took a small amount and I contributed to an organization. The interesting thing was it set up a habit that serves me today. And as my income grew, the amount I contributed also grew. Why? Because I was in the habit of giving. Now, oftentimes when we think of contribution, we actually do think of money, tithing. Some people give to their church, others give to organizations and charities that are very important to us. But that's only one way of contributing. You can actually contribute to of your time. Think of an organization or maybe a young student who needs the resources and skills you have. Maybe it's someone who's just in need of quality time and the attention that you can give. So giving of your time is another way to contribute. The other way to contribute is to give of your talents, treasures, and experience. This is when you, you create something and you put it into the world and you bless other people. This, for many people, is the most risky way to contribute. Why? Because they're putting their own brilliance, their own creation into the world. It could be writing a book. It could be developing a program. It could be developing an app or a tool or something that people can use. That is being a contribution. And we can contribute and expect nothing in return because we're blessing a life. Now, this is the beauty of contribution. I know that when I have been in my lowest times or the times when I'm most frustrated and in struggle, the best way to shift my energy and to shift what's going on for me is to focus on giving and contributing to someone else, focusing on lifting up their life and adding value and that act of adding value instantly makes me feel good but it also reminds me of all the blessings that i have and what i have to be grateful for and it's usually when i sit in this place with contribution that things in my life begin to shift and once again the abundance begins to flow so this week's habit is contribution my request is that you spend some time this week figuring out what talents, treasures, and gifts you have to contribute and bless a life. It's Suzanne Hart. This week's habit is contribution.